uh, today's video is a quick video that some people have requested uh, really to do with the all-flying tailplane of a standard Cirrus um, there's a few sort of gossip out there really saying that it's dangerous um, it's unsafe um, it's not if it's uh, fitted properly um, and I think the common thing is that people can't tell whether the tailplane has been fitted properly once, once they've rigged it um, and there's been a few accidents recently just where people have not rigged it properly and it's become disconnected so I just wanted to uh, show you whilst I'm doing a little bit of maintenance so I'll just show you around here so I'm, I've got the laptop out and I'm uh, I'm on the open area. I've just got the laptop I'm just downloading some updates and everything but I thought I'd uh, just uh, show you how I've overcome it so if I explain the uh, the problem first so I'm going to spin this round so the uh, here's the uh, here's the tailplane so what we've got is uh, using the camera what I've, what we've got is basically um, this hook so the tailplane comes over and there's basically two rollers and one slots in and one slots above so it's got to slot in between the two at an angle and then go in and then hook around here properly so what happens is when we've got the tailplane there's a perspex little window about that big about the size of a I'll say one euro coin for the European people um, in there so you can peer through and obviously that becomes a little bit scratched as well so um, it's not that uh, easy to see in so you may see this and I did this a, a while ago now is when you're inside you can't see whether this is engaged and hooked over properly so if this my fingers say the roller that um, is is on the tailplane that has to hook underneath and there's another roller there so basically you have to angle the wing and then slot it in sort of like that so what happens is this one sort of set back a bit and it goes in in that way so you can't see metal on metal exactly whether it's engaged or not it's quite difficult to see that and differentiate the two so what's happened sometimes is it's been engaged like that and then somebody's flown a little bit and it's just come unhooked so what I've done is I've put some vinyl I rubbed it down with sandpaper first and put some isopropyl alcohol and then just put a piece of vinyl across which you can see it's worn out so I need to put another one on some nice sort of red orangey vinyl on there fluorescent vinyl and basically that then lets me um, see inside if I can see the red over uh, there then I know it's been engaged properly so that's that's really how um, I make sure that the tailplane is engaged now what you do as well is you do full and free movement on the stick and in fairness just by moving it so it goes up and down and it's normally with a little bit of, of waggling around if it's not in properly within two or three seconds it springs out and the tailplane just sort of rests on itself in here there's another connector in here as well so we do that so that's that's really how i've overcome it it does need a little bit more uh, red tape and you can see round here that we've got the uh, you see the piece of vinyl it's just worn out and it will do over time originally you can see some yellow there i did paint it but after about three flights just the paint came off so uh, did that and obviously I'll remove that before flight that's just a an air filter so it just stops any any bugs in the trailer basically just uh, crawling into the uh, into the uh, tubes the probe um, and detecting it so the probes in the glider slot that on but that just that just pulls off um, and goes on so I've just put some nice red tape around it so it's absolutely obvious for some reason if I haven't selected it then there we go and just one of the tugs landing if we can get that on frame so uh, just uh, towed somebody out and uh, he's coming back for uh, pick, up, pick up another happy customer so uh, that's it as I say it was a bit of demand a couple of people have asked how we do that uh, how, how I've overcome it and it was a concern of buying this type of glider it's not a problem at all as long as you know what you're doing it's just to be to make sure it's absolutely safe the other thing that I do have is that uh, I do a positive check so what I'll do is I'll ask somebody to hold tightly onto the tailplane and I'll do the up and down and create resistance against it and in fairness if, if that's creating enough resistance the air resistance that we know it's on properly which you do anyway after you've rigged a glider because you'll check the air brakes and the uh, ailerons and the rudder if you've disconnected that as well so uh, there we go so any questions uh, just uh, put them in the comments below um, just a quick short video today um, if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing it it helps the uh, the algorithm on YouTube and moves me up the rankings which is much appreciated just shows the appreciation and a bit of effort that we put in for these videos so uh, and any questions just let me know and uh, hit the notification bell as well and uh, 
take care everyone and stay well.